Hi everyone, this is probably just gonna be a quick live feed video today. I am back at the auction house, back at Kastner Auctions, where they're gonna be setting up for another, well, the final auction sale of Mary Borgstrom's pottery. So I thought that I would do a live feed video today to give you guys a bit of a preview of what is gonna be going up for sale, what's gonna be going up for auction. Now, um, some of you said there weren't enough items at a lower price point, so I've been very careful to bring a lot of other sorts of different things, so there'll be many things to bid on. Um, of course, some more wonderful pottery and pieces, but uh, also some items from around the house. So everything that's going through this auction came from the estate, so if you want to own something that came from Mary's house, um, this is your chance to do it. So I'm going to, um, without further ado, I'm going to spin this camera around, show you guys some of the cool stuff that's going through. And this sale is ending June 15th. They haven't put any of the pictures up on the website yet. If you didn't register to bid last time, you can go on and register at kauctions.ca and get uh, bid, uh, your bid, bidder number and get ready for when they get that up. So it'll probably be about a week or so and then all these pictures will be on their website. So it's a busy happening place around here. There's trucks moving around. There's people walking, picking stuff up. So I'm going to flip the camera and show you some of the things I brought down. So a few things that you didn't see before. Well, these are Mary's sample rings. They're going up individually. This is all her sample ceramics. So the different types of glazes and finishes that she had done. So she had a system, see how they're marked M05. Those are all marked according, I think to that glaze book recipe book that I had. And it shows all the different types of glazes. Each one is different. I think they correspond to different colors like blues and greens and browns. These are going through individually. So if you want something like that, those are going through. Uh, and yes, as you guys are um, writing your comments, I'm gonna try and uh, um, re respond back to you. But yes, this is live right now. You'll probably watch it later and wonder why I'm talking to myself, but I do anyway, so. Um, there's some more pots from her friend, Jeanne Olette. Um, this, <laughs> you wanted something that's probably not gonna be too much money. This is Mary's phone. Um, you know, the last digits of her old phone number on there. It says, you know, it's provost numbers on it. Mary's phone. Um, some extra pottery, so a couple unfinished pieces that were hers. Um, this is a German piece that came out of her house. I got that out of the front porch. Really cool. Um, that's one of Mary's bowls right there. That's a pot that Mary did. Really interesting finish on that one too. And um, that is um, kind of a sandy sort of glaze that's on there. Very coarse and rough. I haven't seen much of her work like that. It's really cool. Uh, another sphere, but this one, um, she kind of had holes in the top of it. Very different than the others. Another soapstone. Her, uh, some of the tools that she used, we kind of bundled those together. Her name tags from uh, many of her different shows and events that all says Mary Borgstrom on it. Another sphere, some other pottery. That one's a painted piece. Um, you guys remember the bear lamp that I found upstairs in the room? That one right there, that's gonna be going up. So th that's that one showcase. And as we come around, this was a massive pot that I found. Absolutely amazing piece, huge. Good condition too. Uh, one of the bigger pieces, if I put my hand here, you can kind of see just how big this thing is. It's, you know, it's a pretty big piece. Um, some more pottery, beautiful glaze on that. Had some cracks from firing, but you know, that's a really nice finish. That was a beautiful little uh, box that she made with, uh, with a leaf pattern on top. One more flower, it's unglazed and been broken. I don't expect it to bring much money, but somebody will want it. A couple pieces of jewelry that she made. A little necklace, it's signed MB on the back. Uh, let's see, some. this was a cool one actually. You guys, I don't think you ever saw that. That, maybe you did see it in one of the videos before, but that is a sphere. Obviously Mary liked her spheres, but I believe it's also like a cookie jar. So it's got a lid that comes off, but it is that nice round shape that we're so used to seeing with Mary's stuff. Um, this was that woven piece of pottery. It's unsigned. Probably would have been difficult to weave all those pieces of clay all around and, and fire it and glaze it. Um, that's going through another one of Mary's pots. Um, that's a Jeanne Olette's, I believe. Um, that one with the stalks of grain. That's a cool piece from uh, Winyard, Saskatchewan. Uh, Native American or indigenous uh, pot hand painted. Unsigned, but um, the early stuff really wasn't signed. So that could be a really old piece. Um, that, all the stuff is gonna be going up um, with a starting bid and no reserve. The lamp, one of the first things I found in the house if you guys recall, that was one of the first things that made me decide to buy the property. And there it is going up for auction. All right, let's see what else. These are all drawings. They're rolled up right now, but when they're unrolled, there's all sorts of interesting little drawings on the back and, and posters about her upcoming pottery events. So some pretty cool things. I also decided to put a few of her pottery and ceramic books through. 
And if we open up the page, we can see, well, who did this belong to? To one Mary Borgstrom, and she just signed it once and twice. So there are all sorts of wonderful things that are gonna be going through. And it's nice to get her signature on something. So all these little books are gonna be going up separately and they're all signed by Mary, which is gonna be really neat. We're gonna walk on over to the other little showcase here. There's another brown glazed pot signed by Mary. Very nice piece. Um, this is one that I found recently, actually. That has sort of um, glass. You remember the old stucco houses that had glass on the side? It looks like she was experimenting a bit. So that's from her, that's hers. All sorts of different pieces going through. I mean, look how full this case is. So if you were worried last time that you didn't have a chance to get something, well, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the last sale of her pottery, the last sale of her artwork. Uh, look at this one, black glaze, red glaze on the inside. Another sphere with some holes in it. There's actually a few spheres that are gonna be going through. Another little pot right there. Uh, teapot by Jeanne Oletz, Jeanne or Jeanne So lots of interesting things. There's a vase, oh, here it is. Art Nouveau style uh, uh, vase. That's gonna be going through too. That's going through this sale. So lots of really cool stuff. I'm just gonna flip it back around. So I will post a video probably tonight with some better quality pictures of all these items so you'll have a chance to see what's going through the sale. Um, I understand the auction house did a pretty good job packing and shipping stuff out. A lot of you showed me pictures of the things that got to your house and made it there safe. So if you're wanting something from the house, um, this will be the last sale. We are looking at um, liquidating the rest of it uh, as we start to build up funds to, to get a general store. That's pretty much where my mind is at right now is trying to get a different building. Um, so yeah, so this was a video to show you some of the cool things that are going through auctions. So you want to go to kauctions.ca, sign up, get an account. Very soon they're going to have the auction up with uh, bidding available and you guys will all have a chance to get something really cool. Um, so lots of neat things. Oh, the other thing I didn't show you, hang on. Everybody was asking about the uh, old hand knitting crochet books that I found in the attic. Well, I put all three together as one lot. Those are going through the sale as well. So lots of neat things going through. Like I said, even Mary's phone, because why not? So um, thank you so much for watching the little live feed today. Um, stay tuned tonight for um, another auction preview video with some proper pictures. I took a really long time to document and take pictures of all this stuff. Uh, and then it should be going live on the auction website very soon. So thanks so much for watching the live feed today. Um, the auction ends June 15th kauctions.ca sign up now uh, within a week or so this stuff will all be available for bidding and uh, if you missed out a lot of people missed out on the last sale and they were disappointed they didn't get something well this is your chance to get something but after this is gone i don't have a whole lot of her stuff left so this is really gonna be the big one so uh, thanks for watching guys we'll see you all soon and bye for now